Hello everyone, it's Helen at Journaling Planet and I've been playing around with a bit of the envelope that I think, on the whole, as junk journalers we tend to ignore and that is the flap. And I can't really think of anything else to call it so I'm going to call these things feature flaps. The idea is that we're drawing all attention to this portion of the envelope and maybe when you put it in your journal you'll want to keep the envelope folded down like this and then when somebody opens it they get this really lovely surprise or maybe you'll even want to glue the envelope completely flat and open like this in your journal so it takes up most of the page and the feature flap is completely on display. I have a few different methods that I've tried with this approach and I'm going to share them with you today whilst also pointing out that you can use any media that happens to be in your stash to create these feature flaps. <laughs> it's a very silly name, but I really can't think of anything else. So let's start with approach one, which is stamping and or stickers. In this example, I just stamped very lightly around the edge of the envelope because I felt it needed it. I stamped in this section here, put a feature stamp in the middle, and then added a couple of stickers that are sort of tickets. The first step in this process was to put some washi tape over this area so that I didn't accidentally stamp all over this white space here. Remember that the idea is to draw as much attention as possible to this section. So I want to keep this area relatively clear, although I did make an exception to that rule in one of my makes, which I'll explain later. So let's get some washi tape down. The next step that I did, although you can stamp this up and sticker it up absolutely any way that you like, I decided that I was going to do a background stamp. Last time I chose this text stamp, which I use all the time. But this time I think I want to use uh, this leisure stamp, which has got some numbers on it. OK, I'm really liking how that's come out. I'm just going to give it a second to dry. It really only takes a few seconds for the ink to dry. I just like to make doubly sure that it is set before I put the main image on the flap. Now I've stamped that across the fold of the envelope. It doesn't really matter, I don't think, but perhaps you would prefer to stamp either above the fold or below the fold. It's just something to bear in mind if you're creating one for yourself and you have a particular idea in mind of how it's going to sit in your journal or how people are going to come across the image. So once that's done, I can peel up my masking tape. Now, interestingly, this didn't happen on any of my prototypes, but as I've pulled up that washi tape, it's torn the envelope. A sign, I think, that this is a much cheaper envelope than the ones that I experimented with. So just a little hazard there for you to be aware of. I can just glue it back down if I wanted to. I could have also used a sticker. In fact, I still could do that if I want to. A bit of washi tape, anything like that. If you find that your masking tape brings up any of the envelope, if you're using very cheap envelopes as I am. So obviously I can just leave the rest of this blank because I'm trying to draw all the attention here. In my example, I did go around the edges and do a little bit of stamping, but I've decided that I actually prefer this one with just the focus on that one image. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a very light bit of ink around the edges and that is going to complete the envelope, my feature flap number one. Could also, of course, use stickers, fabric, I mean, anything that is in your stash. These are just the methods that I've tried so far that I'd like to share with you. But you can be as creative as you want in the feature flaps you create. So this one is a mix of stamping and papers. I actually just originally intended it to be papers, but for some reason when I finished it, it just, I felt like it still needed some more. So I put some stamping over here, which of course flies in the face of the idea of all our attention being drawn here. But what can I tell you? You know, each creation is different. You're going to want to do slightly different things with each envelope. I think my main idea behind this project is that I didn't want to focus on this side of the envelope which is what we tend to focus on. So looking at the envelope from a slightly different perspective. For this approach all you need is some papers. Believe it or not even these 
beautiful butterflies were cut out of a magazine, an old tech magazine that belonged to my husband. So this is all paper, no stickers or anything like that. Let me have a go and see what I can create with a slightly smaller envelope. Just interested to see if that changes the effect. So just to flag, I am putting a piece of card in here to cover the whiteness on the back here. And the way I do it is I only glue the top part of the card. Otherwise, you're struggling to get the whole thing down. So the sort of the top half or the top third of the piece of card, it will stay in place once glued. And it does mean that you're not struggling to get the card shimmied all the way down the envelope. It goes in quite smoothly until you place the glue down. Okay, that is the paper layer feature flap all layered up. This is a piece of scrap craft card. This is from a magazine. This is old book page that's been tea dyed and these are from magazines. But you can use any paper that you have in your stash, any paper at all. I do think that these look really cute and I can imagine this being glued down to a journal page with something interesting perhaps put inside it. And the reader's eye just completely being drawn to this feature flap. By the way, every time you see a cut in this video, it's pretty much because I've had to pause the video because I'm immaturely laughing at how stupid the words feature flap sound coming out my mouth. So that's the second feature flap. <laughs> Let's go to the third approach. So as most of you know, I am a massive fan of washi tape. I use it in loads of different projects. You only have to watch a couple of videos on my channel and you'll soon see me pulling out the washi tape. Lots of different ways of using it in our junk journals. I thought that the feature flap also lended itself to washi tape. And this is how I did mine. You may watch me do this and think, Helen, there is a much easier way. Um, but other than pulling the envelope apart, I didn't see a much easier way. So apologies if I've gone about this um, backwards first. That is kind of my MO in life. Um, but essentially, I just decided to cut down a piece of card. In this case, it was just a index card. And because washi is a bit see-through, when I layer the washi over this, the lines are going to show through, but I don't mind that. I like the added texture. So my idea is to cover this in washi, insert it in here and glue it down like I did with the piece of card on this one. So it covers this section and then continuing layering the washi tape up the envelope flap. That's how I created this. Allow me to demonstrate. I just think this looks so cute and the index part card at the and the index card at the back of the envelope provides extra sturdiness to it as a pocket so it's sort of win-win as an approach on that one let's look at all of the makes all together there's quite a lot of variation in here considering i've got three similar methods obviously you can see the different approaches the stamping i didn't actually add any stickers to this but i could have done in fact, why don't we just add a little sticker now while we're here? I just feel like we can have a little root around. Yeah, that's going to look cute. Okay, see, it doesn't have to be a big decision. 
you can just decide on the spur of the moment that you're going to add a sticker. It's difficult to decide which of these are my favourite approach. I do really love the paper because obviously you get to use up all kinds of different papers in that kind of project. I am a washi fan and a stamping fan, so how am I supposed to choose? I'll let you decide, dear viewer, and perhaps you can also come up with a better name than Feature Flap. Not my finest hour. Never mind. I know that you'll come up with something better than that. Let me know what you think in the comments of this approach. Have you tried it? Have you done something similar? Let us know so we can have a little bit of a play for ourselves with your approaches. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.